do you think, what do you think, Ty? Like, what, what do the Raps need to look at and target in, I guess, free agency, signing trades? Is there is there a player out there that you like? There's an exact player I like, man. I've been, looking, I've been looking at this one, and I was looking at it yesterday and a few days before that, too. Rashawn Holmes, that is the guy that I want to see them go after real hard, man. I think he fits in perfectly because you have, you have, I I get that you have Boucher I know they want to give him a chance and whatnot. I think if you have a guy like Rashawn Holmes, that's available, you got to go after him. He's just, he's a young guy, but he's already established and you don't need the three point shooting. And again, I always preach, get the fucking centers for the three point shooting. And maybe you could even keep Boucher because I'm like, you can get them both. I think like Rashawn Holmes, isn't going to be overly expensive. He's not a max player yet. You know what I mean? So you're not going to break the salary cap with him. Keep both. And just give Rashawn Holmes a little heavier minutes. Give him 30 and give give Boucher like, you know, 40, 15 sort of thing, right? So I love that move for them. I hope they go after him because, again, not a Raps fan necessarily, but I think that's the best move they could possibly make this offseason. And looking at everybody because, like, that's just the most realistic, best move. For those, for those that don't watch the NBA, he plays the Sacramento who no one watches. He's a true big. He bangs down low. Gets, gets in a ton of foul trouble because he's a little bit careless, but – just that comes with age. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, exactly. Yeah. And I, I think one thing I harp on a lot with bigs in uh, in the NBA, especially when they get drafted so young, is their development process takes so much longer. And Rashawn Holmes definitely is ahead of the curve. And I think the best thing for his career is to get the fuck out of Sacramento. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I, I really, I really like that target. I mean, that target comes with a, a price tag, and I, I don't think that price tag should go anywhere north of 17, 17 five. I really don't. That's me personally. I know. I, I was going to say, I would honestly, it's not to get counter, like, um, uh, like contradict what you're saying, but I think, I think 22 even. I think 22 because That's Boucher's it. still cheap right now. Boucher's still cheap. A little, a little rich for my blood for. Because well, I you, think you, you bring him you in. You don't have to pay Lowry, though, right? You don't have to pay Lowry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dude, I, I totally yeah. get it. I just feel like you're locking in a lot of money. In not something that's unproven, although he's ahead of the curve, I think also bringing him in. Are, what term would you be bringing him out? Hit him in on? If you're bringing him him in for three to four years, no. Yeah, I think I think like I think one or two, and if you do well, he stays. Oh, dude, right? one or two, one or two at twenty two. Fuck yeah, I'm yeah. in. That's a proving yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think he feels that. I don't even think his agent calls back. I think his agent's gonna look for some term. And yeah, probably, yeah. probably more than 17 and a half, less than 22. I think he'll be somewhere in that middle zone, but he's going to look for term, right? He's yeah. going to like a little bit more of a commitment. Hey, that, that is a great take from a non Raptors fan. Just looking at like a need. Yeah. That fucking totally works. I think part of the Raps biggest problem this season. And you know, I, I'm saying it again, is letting Serge go and bringing in two sort of Humpty Dumpty roll guys in. Yeah. I well, think like letting, that is letting Serge go and also like Marcus all just becoming old, right? Like that's yeah. like that you became old and, he, and like it isn't there anymore. I think that was also big. Like, they just lost two legitimate bigs where now they have like that spread offense, but they're so it's just one dimensional, right? It's, it's only spread offense with Boucher when he's out there. And then Aaron Baines, get rid of him. You can get rid of him at any fucking Fuck time. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know? he, so. he, he, he should be cut immediately. But yeah. I will say that the knock on Rashawn Holmes and anybody coming from that Sacramento program, and not not to any fault other than the fucking the organization is defensively they they were a nightmare they were a nightmare where Nick Nurse has a, a tighter ship so maybe his plus value goes up even more playing in a true system a true defensive system where there aren't blowbys and maybe the foul trouble gets helped out by that right like a solid mm-hmm. defensive foundation sort of protects bigs that's a great point that's a, that's a great point yes yeah. because let's think yeah exactly Sacramento they're not Detroit. But they're a bad organization. That team shouldn't yeah. be as bad as they are. They're exciting to watch. Like I like you were saying, like no one watches Sacramento. I agree. I I look forward to watching Sacramento games mainly because they're on kind of same time as uh, like um sorry Portland. So it's like every other night or whatever. I'm okay to watch Sacramento. And they're in the one thirties, and they're in the one thirties every game. They're in the one. They're so exciting. So it's just yeah, it's just such a bad defensive team. Just a bad bad organization, really. I will say. I will say definitely worse than the Pistons. Worse than the I've seen Pistons. Stop. I've seen I've I've seen the Pistons win an NBA title. I, I I've seen that. Okay. Yes. 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 In years, in, in in like in total, yes. But in years past, like recent years past, no. There's no one worse than the Pistons right now. I know, man. The the Queens are pretty bad, but I, uh, yeah, Rashawn Holmes. I think I think the few stump listeners mm. that I know that listen to this will love that take. 
Yeah, I, I really do. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. I, I I will say I'm looking forward to the draft. And one name I'm not going to really beat beat the drum on this. One name is Zaire Williams. Zaire, I can't pronounce his name from Stanford. Mm-hmm. He's going to go lower than he probably should. He came out of the gates hot in college last season. Hot. They had a they had a huge preseason tournament. When I say preseason, it still matters to these because they're it's a tune up. And he battled inj- the injury bug the entire season. Couldn't really stay healthy. Went on the floor, electric, electric. And I think playing, he might, he might be, again, one of those dudes takes a couple of years to sort of turn the corner. Best thing for him is if he actually drops a little bit more and goes to a team that's going to be able to insert him immediately. And I, I'm, I'm big on him. I'm really big on him. We just passed the foreign city sign, your feet on the dash, you got your favorite top on, I got my foot on the gas.